Hey, welcome back everybody. Okay, so first thing we need to do is recruit some new heroes. Uh, let's see what we have here. Ranged. Vulnerability. Seeker Occultist, I kind of like that. Right here, another melee. We will need one of those as well. So... Put our Barbaric two melee warriors there, savagery make for a and our ranged ally. here in the back. Shoot, bandage, and pillage. And yeah, we'll the go ahead and do that. Steps of, war. of course, this flashing here is that's that affliction. Um, let's see. We can't afford this right now, but we will need to do that eventually. All right, cool. Uh, now we've got the Abbey for stress relief. The cobwebs have been dusted. The pews set All right, so if we do activities here, we the can help Abbey relieve stress. Obviously, this faithful. Arp Plague Doctor really needs it. Um, and of course, if you do this, you lose them for a week, basically. And that's all right, because we've already got four people. Uh, so meditation, pray to a higher power, or flagellation. So Roard is a masochist, so I think flagellation, he's really going to like that. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's loving it. Like, oh, yes. Yes, mortify my flesh. I need to be mortified. And we can upgrade this a little bit. Gilded icons and dogmatic rituals. So, there some, we go. A tonic against the bloodshed. All right. And here's, there's also the tavern, of course, for stress Fresh relief. Pegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the okay. weary and broken alike. Yeah, and but basically I don't need to worry about anyone else's stress right now. So, we'll try to go on another quest. Now, I was wondering about the camping thing when we did Ruins last time. Apparently there's only campsites available in the longer quests, not in the shorter ones. So we're going to have to do Ruins again. And see if we can survive this time, basically. Um, so, go ahead and build our party. Now we need to provision them. So we'll need food. Let's go with four. Let's go with two shovels. Anti-venom. Lots of bandages. Um, of course we'll need lots of torches. And some holy water. Alright, where's the... Everything you do is permanent. Like, you can't save. I mean, you save, but it's only like when you exit the game or whatever. And the fiends must be driven back. That's kind and of it. Better place to begin so, as you can see, we've got another randomly generated mine. map for the, the ruins here. And something I didn't notice is Reynold is very stressed. I don't know how I missed that. That's kind of disturbing. It's going to be very hard to. How did I not catch that? Oh well, so we're in a little bit of trouble. We'll hope that he can hold it together. You salvage the unburned torch. Very cool. We got another one. Very cool. I'm not going to complain. Alright. No, I'm trying to get through the door, please. Let's move back a little bit. There we go. And Reynold is just getting more and more stressed as time goes on. Uh, so where do we need to go from here? Let's go with this room up here. People are getting more and more stressed. And what do we have here? Bookshelf. The knowledge within forever changes. Please be something good. He got the Stout Boon. So, plus 15 heal skills while camping. Um, yeah, so we should have prayed for stress relief, bleh, stress relief, but we would have lost him for a week. So our torches are kind of going down. The Priest that. is struck. A blazing star is born. Oh, hell, goblets of death back here. You'll notice we did not surprise them. Ringing ears. You know, the damn the goblet vision. is always critting. The end approaches. 
All right, so the stress has finally gotten to Reynold, and he's paranoid now. Another damn gauntlet attack, as you can see. Okay. So we have the Abyssal Artillery, plus 15 damage versus Eldritch. I don't know if those guys are Eldritch. Uh, this is Bleed, which is kind of cool. Can't target anyone with it though. Vulnerability Hex kind of screws their dodge up. And we get a good chance of critting them. Ah, damn it. Let's just go with this. I think we'll have multiple targets. Yeah. Blow. Nice. Got the crit too. Okay, now over here. Uh, bleeding. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to bleed somebody. Let's go here. Oh, come on. Alright, sniper shot, or we have suppressing fire, or blind fire. Okay, let's go with suppressing fire. <laughs> so Reynold, of course, is freaking out. And that's perfectly normal. Stunning blow. Alright. Okay. Let's go with the weakening curse. I'm gonna get that on him as opposed to the skeleton because this one has more health right now. And this will actually hurt us. Let's go with some more bleeding. How much is the damage? Five to ten. Press this advantage. Nice. Give them no quarter. Right. Ouch. Oh man, I really hate those goblets. Lots and lots and lots of stress working on us here. Okay. Uh, moving back. Stunning blow. All right, let's go suppressing fire again. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Got our stun helping us there. Here comes the goblet. Yeah, she's getting real stressed out, as you can see. Uh, let's just go with the killing blow, hopefully. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That's good. And let's see what we can do here. Only three to five, but that should kill him. Continually nice. Alright, we got some busts of like Shakespeare all. or something and some gold. So that's nice. And we'll move on. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so we normally do the stunning blow, but I need to do some serious damage. Okay. More stress. Everybody loves that. Okay, back to our occultist. Let's go with the vulnerability hex would be nice. Let's put it on this one. Alright, so he's marked, takes extra damage from some hero attacks. Um let's see. Let's go with the bleeding. We can't hit him. As the fiend falls, right? A faint hope blossoms. Suppressing fire. Miss and dodge. Oh, but we shot the shit out of that pile of bones. You better believe it. Nice. 
good resistance here. The Goblet of Death with the crit, as always. Okay. Let's go with the Weakening Curse. Alright, so negative 30 damage, that's good. Let's try and finish this dude off. Okay, and let's go with Suppressing Fire again. So we got some good debuffs going on here. Um, let's go with... Bleeding. That was not bad. And now let's go with... Let's put the Weakening Curse on the Goblet Bastard. Take another arrow to the chest, because that's just what we do. Emery's resolve is tested, and Emery failed. Fear and so now Emery is fearful. Right, and I just have to cleave through here. I can't get to these guys. I gotta admit, the the cutting through like the bones piles. I'm not. I don't really dig that mechanic. I'm not sure. It's kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. Uh, let's press the fire. Nice. All right, torch, and some crests, and some. Remind busts. yourself that overconfidence is a slow. Eldritch altar, an altar dedicated to unholy killer. abominations. What if we put holy water here? The holy water purifies the altar. Hell yes. Tuckered out quirk removed. Alright, so somebody got one of their quirks basically, you know, healed, if you will, because of that. So that was cool. Let's go here. Stack of books. Alright, got a new quirk here on guard. More speed and dodge in the first round. That's cool. Alright, so they're complaining about shadows. Get a little more light. What do we have here? Is that the sparkle of coin I see? It is. Citrine, I don't even know what that is, but okay. I guess it's just stuff to sell. Oh shit. Oh, we surprised these hideous looking spiders, that's the one good thing. And we missed on the bleed attack, naturally. Suppressing fire. So they're all debuffed, which is awesome. We want the weakening curse. So now they're all properly debuffed. Alright, we finally got some balls over here. Oh, never mind, he's gonna he's gonna switch places. That's brilliant. Done. Just God knows what the hell these spiders are gonna do. Just thank God we dodged that. And we've been blighted, that's not good. Alright, nice dodge. Are we ever gonna get another attack? Your hero's blighted. If you wish, you can use anti venom. Right click on the anti venom while it's the in injured hero's turn, which it is. No longer blighted. Alright, and let's just go with Abyssal Artillery, and both of them dodged it. Fabulous. And this is the fearful person complaining, obviously. Suppress the fire. They all dodged it. Just gonna have to go with Brute Melee Force. Blighted. We don't have any more anti venom, so that's going to be that. Okay. And we want to use the. Now, the breakthrough is going to be a debuff on her after she uses it. But it modifies 
their damage here by negative 50, 55. Nah, screw it. We need brute force. And another blight. Oh, he resisted the blight. That's good, but this one's gonna die. Um, let's see. So, I mean... Put the vulnerability on. Or, so this will heal. And then there's the bleeding, but I'm not, not exactly sure. Let's see. So let's go with the weakening curse, possibly. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so you are no longer of any use to us. What else is new? None of these attacks seem to be having... Well, I was going to say they're not really having the desired effect, but that'll work. Oh good, another goddamn blight. Injury and despondence. Set the stage for heroism. Try and finish that or right cowardice. there. What is this? We got a, a charm. 20% heal skills, that's cool. But a victory nonetheless. Whoa, the quest is complete. Oh well, I, wow, I didn't realize that. So we are gonna return to the hamlet. I'm not gonna open that chest, it's probably More trapped. Bones return to rest. Devils remanded so to let's see abyss. what we got here. Lots of treasure. And plenty of Shakespeare busts, which are always good. Alright, got some level up action for everybody. Got some more quirks. Unyielding, that's awesome. Death blow resistance. Clumsy, less dodge, but better stress resist on Brad Redeen, so that's kind of cool. So we're going to have to... I remember days when the sun shone. Yeah, so as you can see, our can plague doctor is no tavern. longer afflicted so we can use them in the quest again. However, everyone else seems to be pretty afflicted. So, we need to put Reynold in here to pray. And then as for Emery, fearful. We may need to see if the tavern can help with that. Let's take a look here. Will not pray or flagellate, and will not drink. So maybe... Well, hold on, let's go back to the Abbey. So he will not pray or flagellate, but he could maybe do the cloister, but the caretaker's doing that, so that's not going to work. Oh, whoops. Alright, well, let's put Emery... See if gambling makes you feel better. Alright, so we've got those two unavailable now. So we're gonna need to find one more warrior. Uh, Hellion. More axe that would be good to go alongside her, possibly. Another ranged. We don't need that. Because we've got, got that kind of covered. Let's go here with Osmond. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a power. All right, and then ally. as you see, we have the guild now. Make no mistake. And we can drag we a hero here to kind of upgrade the skills. Our soldiers like, must be ready. Here. So we got the wicked hack. You'll notice we need money uh, to unlock these other things here. I'm not really ready to unlock anything right at this point. I kind of want to wait for Reynold to get out of his uh, prayer thing so that we can actually put him in there and then we can upgrade weapons and armor. And we'll do all that in our next episode. So thank you as always for joining me. Please like and subscribe. And we'll be back soon for our next quest here on Darkest Dungeon.